Hi everybody, this is Father Juan and D'Souza. As you will recall, I began a series called Simple Truths and since then I have got a lot of um, positive reaction to it and I thought I would share with you the third in the series. The simple truth is this, you have put up too long with people in your life that just won't make an effort to improve the relationship you share with them. The operative word is you put up and perhaps you have put up because you have convinced yourself that even what you get you won't receive if you demand more. Even worse, you have now come to believe that this is what you're worth. The truth is that we have surrounded ourselves with people who don't respect who we are and who care little for our emotional needs while constantly demanding more for themselves. You don't have to think hard, for I'm sure a name is just going to come up as I speak to you. I am one of those people who constantly put a lot into reaching out to others. Relationships are very important for me. For me, human touch and personal interactions are paramount. I constantly find myself making time for friends and loved ones, often at the cost of my own needs. If I know that someone is in pain, I will ensure that I reach out to them in some way or the other. I am sure that many of you who are listening to this identify with what I am just saying. And then on the flip side, I find myself enveloped by some people who constantly receive much and give very, very little. What's their excuse? They'll say something like this, you know, this is who I am. The truth is this, this is not who they are. For if motivated to their own needs and pleasures, they will be up and running like a half-crazed lover heading for his first date. Yet, to those around them from whom they receive much, their excuse is always, well, this is who I am, or even worse, accept me as I am. Now please give what I have to say a very, very good thought. For these characters, as I call them, deliberately set themselves up for very low expectations in a relationship because when they don't deliver, which they won't because they won't even try, then they can't really be blamed. And this is the key. It's not that they can't give more in a relationship, it's that, that they have figured out that if they admit to not being able to give more, if they admit to being inadequate, you simply won't be able to blame them when you don't get what you really need. Such people never meet your needs, forget about your wants, even though you explicitly state them, because they simply admitted to not being able to, which is not true. And now, if you don't get what you need, it's your fault for expecting what they said they can't give. Such a clever excuse. Sometimes, some time ago, I wrote an article which I then developed on similar lines, but more generically, this is more specific, on this matter of relationships. That I posted last week. Since then, many of you wrote in to say thank you for the liberation you felt. You don't have to feel guilty for expecting love from those who ought to give it to you, especially if they are the same ones who demand it from you in the measure and specification that they need. It is true that we don't necessarily give love to get it back in return. But some people know that we are disposed to simply giving and giving while they are happily open to receiving. They, on their part, make no effort to push themselves to give. Think of this. You wake up earlier 
just to finish your work and accommodate your best friend. But when you need them, their beauty sleep was more important than you. You always write personal notes or send a message each day to a loved one and you don't even get a response. You cooked a great meal and no one even said it was nice. You think of these people in your life all the while and they reach out to you only when they need you. In fact, you can safely pick up their call and ask them, what is it that you need? And Pat will come their list of requirements. The truth is that you are simply a service provider to them. So here's what I want to say to you. Stop accepting mediocrity in your relationship because you are worth more. Stop believing you invested so much that it's not worth letting them go. Trust me, you're better off. Stop accepting their devious excuse of this is who I am, for this is not what you deserve. Think about what you said, what I just said to you. And if it makes sense, let me know your thoughts.